ankle, after you've seen the other video, we talked about um, foam rolling, using a tennis ball, breaking up that knot, stretching out to get the regain of range of motion. But then after you do that, now you want to activate the muscle and get it used to working. You want to teach it how to integrate it working all together with the rest of the muscles, okay? So one exercise I like to do is standing on my, standing on one foot, hands on a hip, all right? And what you're going to do, extend this leg out to the side. And what this is going to do is going to force you to use that medial part of your calf that you probably weren't using before. Because now as you, you roll that side of your ankle, you want to activate this muscle and get it back used to working and balancing. So hands on the hip, just reaching out as far as you feel comfortable, they come right back, nice controlled pace. You want to inhale through the nose as you're going out, and they come right back in. Keep yourself nice and aligned. And another exercise you can do for balance to uh, incorporate that ankle, getting used to moving in all planes or directions. Stand on one foot, sink the hip, chest up. And we're just going to reach out here, pause, reach out to the side, pause, and open up, pause. And when you're doing this the whole time, most athletes, when they roll their ankle, they get decreased activation in their glutes, so not using one of their most powerful muscles in their body. So the purpose of these balance exercises is to teach you how to use your ankle, but also how to activate your glute all together. So sinking the hip, chest up, and once again, like I said in the other videos, keeping the chest up, sink the hips, hands on, make sure you're using that glute, bracing the core, tighten these muscles up. Reach out, hold, I was going to turn to the side, and then you open up the whole way. And there you have it. That's how you integrate some, after you do some stretching, foam rolling, you integrate some um, balance exercises.